Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duel. So today we're going to be doing a $30 budget build of the new Red Dragon Archfiend structure deck, the Crimson King. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this structure deck is an amazing structure deck that gave us all sorts of new cool Red Dragon Archfiend support and even gave us a new boss monster, Scarred Dragon Archfiend, which is such a cool card. For this deck profile, guys, we're only going to be using three of the Crimson King structure decks and no outside cards. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of the new Soul Resonator. This card is a definite three of the deck and is one of the best cards in the entire new structure deck, which has an amazing ability. If it's normal or special summon, you can add a level four or lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card, which is a great effect to be able to search out your copy of Bone Arch Fiend, which is basically full combo for the deck, which is so cool. And also has the ability of a card that you control would be destroyed by card effects while you control Red Dragon Arch or a synchro monster that mentions it, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead, which is a great effect to be able to protect your cards. We then play three copies of Vision Resonator. This card is a great extender in the deck and is one of the new cards that we just got out of the structure deck. And as you believe, if a level five or higher dark monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand, making it a great extender. But it also is a searcher because if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a spell or trap card that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect to be able to search out your copies of Crimson Gaia, which is such a powerful search card for this deck. We then play three copies of the classic Crimson Resonator. This card is a great combo piece for the deck because if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if the only other monster you control is exactly one Dark Dragon Synchro monster, you can special summon up to two more Resonator monsters from your hand or deck, except another copy of this card, which is a great combo piece in this deck to basically be able to summon out your copy of Soul Resonator, get your Bone Archfiend, go into your copy of your Red Rising Dragon, but use your copy of your bone archfiend to send this to the grave to be able to just go in for all of those amazing plays in the deck by bringing this back and going in for a bunch of different synchro plays which is so cool we then play two copies of Synchron Resonator. This card is just a good two of in the deck. You don't really need three anymore because the main one that you're going to be using is Soul Resonator now. But this card is still really good in this deck because if a Synchro Monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also has the ability, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can actually target a Resonator Monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand, which is a great ability for this card to have just to be able to recycle cards like Soul Resonator back to your hand. We then play three copies of Bone Archfiend. This card is crazy. We really needed a level 4 Fiend that was really good for this deck, and this card totally fills that role. This card is amazing because if this card is in your hand or grave, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest turn except Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters. You can also target a face-up monster that you control that has a level and send a Fiend Tuner monster monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard and if you do increase or decrease that monster's level by one which is usually always going to be decreasing level by one so you can get your copy of soul resonator or your copy of your bone archfiend down to a level three or a level two to be able to go in for a copy of red rising dragon this card also helps you get your copy of crimson resonator to the graveyard so that you can bring it back with red rising dragon and then go full combo i love that about this deck that there's so many basically one 1.5 card combos in the deck that as long as you have any other card in your hand to be able to use in this deck you basically have full combo in this build which is so cool and plus there's so many ways to get to soul resonator we then play three copies of Wandering King Wild Wind. Wandering King Wild Wind is a really good three of in the deck still, because this card helps out a lot that if you control a Fiend Tuner with 15 or less attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a great ability just to basically extend your plays and give you another level four in the build to be able to get out on the field for your synchro plays. We then play three copies of Askatar Dawnwalker. Askatar Dawnwalker is really good to help you go in for Red Dragon Archfiend or your copy of Scarred Dragon Archfiend because you can discard one of the cards, especially on this card from your hand to defense, 
then you can special summon out a Fire Ant Askatar from your hand or deck, which is a great ability just to be able to summon out your copy of Fire Ant so that you can get a level three tuner on your side of the field, plus this, so you can go for a level eight synchro play. We then play a single copy of the Fire Ant Askatar. You only need a single copy of this card. It's a little bit of a brick, but you only need one copy to be able to work with your copy of Askatar Dawnwalker. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start off with a single copy of Absolute Power Force, which is amazing because this is actually the name of a pack, which is so cool that the cover card is a Red Dragon Archfiend form, which is so cool. This card is a really cool card because it actually lets you target a Red Dragon Archfiend you control and give it some bonus effects that if that monster that you control battles an opponent's monster this turn, you apply these four different effects to it which is insane that it gets four bonus effects it gains a thousand attack points your opponent's monster your opponent cannot activate cards or effects if it attacks a defense position monster it does piercing and also any battle damage inflicted to your opponent is doubled which is crazy it basically turns your copy of red dragon archfiend into a blue eyes chaos max that is insanely powerful this is so cool and this card is actually searchable which is why we just play a single copy speaking of it being searchable we play three copies of Crimson Gaia. Crimson Gaia is the crazy searcher of the deck that literally does everything. This card is so powerful. If you see this card in your opening hand, you have full combo, which is just so cool. It has the ability that during your main phase, you can add Red Dragon Archfiend or one card that mentions it from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except a copy of Crimson Gaia, literally searching half the deck, which is insane. This card also has the ability when your Red Dragon Archfiend declares an attack, you can change all monsters that your opponent controls to face down defense system, essentially Book of Eclipsing your opponent, which is really cool. And if a monster on the field is destroyed by a Battle of Act artifact, you can actually special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend from your graveyard, essentially bringing back one of your Red Dragon Archfiends to your side of the field, which is so cool about this card. We then play three copies of Resonator Call. Resonator Call is also a definite three of in the deck because this card helps out a lot just to be able to get your copy of Soul Resonator directly from your deck to your hand. And I love that about this card. We then play three copies of Resonator Command. Resonator Command is great in this deck because it lets you discard a Resonator monster to add a level four or lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great ability, especially if your copy of Soul Resonator gets like Ash Blossom. You can still use this card to be able to get a copy of your Bone Arch Fiend from your deck to your hand which is still really cool we then play three copies of pot of extravagance it was included in the structure deck so we just threw these cards in here just all to dig into the deck we have a lot of two ofs in the extract so you're usually not going to manage everything that you need and this card just helps us draw into really powerful cards like crimson gaia and soul resonator so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're going to start with a single copy of Red Rain. Red Rain is a really awesome one of in this deck because it has a really amazing ability that if you control a level eight or higher Singer monster, banish all monsters on the field except the monster with the highest level. Also, the remaining face-up monster on the field are unaffected by other card effects except their own until the end of the turn, which is a great ability to be able to use because we're always going to have the monster with the highest level on the field unless we're in a mirror match. But this card is really amazing because we do play level 12 Synchros in this bill we then play two copies of red zone red zone is such a powerful card this card is amazing in this build i'm so glad that they gave us this card in the structure deck because it has the ability that when your opponent activates a carter effect while you control red dragon archfiend or a synchro monster that mentions it you can target one card on the field and destroy it giving us a pop for back row giving us a pop for cards on the field that's such a powerful thing that this deck really needed to be able to just deal with cards on the field it also has the ability that you can target one of your banished dark Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters and Special Summon it to your side of the field. And you can only use each effect of this card once per turn, which is a really cool thing about this card. This card is a definite two of in the budget build. I may only play one in the full fledged build, but I feel like two is really good for this deck. 
We then play two copies of Fiendish Golem. Fiendish Golem is a retrain new support card for your copies of Fiendish Chain. This card is really cool because it lets you target a monster on the field with 2,000 more attack and banish it until the end phase of the next turn. Then if you activated that card, this card, while you controlled Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster that mentions it, you can set a copy of Fiendish Chain from your deck or graveyard. We also play one copy of Fiendish Chain to work with this card. It's a really cool old support card that's just such a cool classic card and it kind of works like the phantom knight's fog blade that you get to activate this card by targeting effect monster on the field negate its effects of that face up monster while it's on the field also that face up monster cannot attack which is a great effect to be able to use in this deck so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with two copies of the new Scarred Dragon Archfiend. This card is so cool. I absolutely love the way that card looks on camera. That is such an amazing boss monster. This card has the ability. This card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while on the field or in the graveyard. And if this card is sent from the monster zone to the grave, you can special summon Red Dragon Archfiend from your extra deck, and it's treated as a synchro summon. Then... If this card was sent to the graveyard as a synchro material for a dark dragon synchro monster, which it will, you can destroy all attack position monsters that your opponent controls, essentially letting you go in for the OTK. This card is such a powerful combo piece in the deck, and it's just an amazing card that this deck absolutely needed so that you can use the original Red Dragon Archfiend. Speaking of the original Red Dragon Archfiend, we're playing two copies of the original. This card is such a cool classic boss monster, and it's amazing that they've made it actually playable in the deck which is just really nice that you pretty much have to play this card now in order to use scarred dragon arch theme we then play three copies of red rising dragon red rising is such a powerful card in this deck and this card you're going to be stepping into first all the time is when this card is synchro summoned you can target a resonator monster in your graveyard and special summon it which is a great card effect to be able to use with your copy of crimson resonator to bring it back to your side of the field so you can use crimson to get two more resonators on your side of the field this deck is amazing with with red rising and actually the thing i'm most excited about this deck is we finally got an ultra rare version of red rising dragon before this card was only a common and they finally gave us an ultra which is so nice we then got a single copy of Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, which is actually my favorite of all the Red Dragon Archfiends. And definitely comment down below what your favorite Red Dragon Archfiend is. But this card is super cool because it's basically a board wipe, which is so cool. and also does burn damage, but you only need a single copy in this build. This card's name also becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while in the field or in the grave, which is really nice. We then played two copies of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Abyss is just a great card overall. It basically is a quick effect. Target one face-up card your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of the turn, which is such a cool ability to be able to use with this card. We then played two copies of Bane. Bane is really nice in this deck as a two-up because you can tribute a monster and then target a Red Dragon Archfiend monster in your grave and special summon it, which is such a cool ability just to be able to basically put a copy of Red Dragon Archfiend back onto your side of the field. Then for the 12s, we're going to be playing a single copy of Red Nova Dragon, which is such a cool old school boss monster. We're playing its retrain Red Supernova Dragon, which is a board wipe, which is so cool. This card just does take three tuners to be able to make this thing, but when you do, you usually win. This card is such a cool card to be able to make because when an opponent's monster clears an attack or your opponent activates an effect of a monster, quick effect, activate this effect to banish this card, also banish all cards your opponent controls, which is a great ability, and once per turn during your next in phase after this card was banished by a ton effect, special summon this banished card, bringing itself back. It also gains 500 attack for each tuner in your graveyard, which is going to be a lot usually in this deck. We finally play a single copy of King Calamity. You can make this in the deck, and it does turn off your opponent's field, which is really cool, but you only need a single copy in this deck. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. This deck is amazing, especially with all the retrains of Red Dragon Archfiend and all of its amazing forms included in this structure deck. I absolutely love all the new cards, especially Soul Resonator, which is just such an amazing card. That's basically a 1.5 card combo, so you can have it and literally any other card in your hand to be able to use, and it's so cool. But this structure deck is amazing. If you guys haven't already picked up the Crimson King structure decks, definitely pick up three of these so you can build this amazing deck and definitely be on the look out for the full-fledged 
power version, which we're going to be making very soon on the channel. And it's probably already up if you guys want to check that out. So anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and there's income part notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.